you have a personal manual of life principles to live by? What adages do you use to guide you in your everyday living? Today, I'd like to share a list of 101 important life principles to live by in life. This list is a compilation of important life lessons I've learned at one point or another, and it pertains to different areas of life, from dealing with people, to our emotions, to life challenges, to achieve success, to handling failure. I'd say that this list is like a cheat list. Even though this list has 101 points, don't overwhelm yourself by listening and applying all the points right away. These principles are meant to be read or listened to and reflected on over time, as opposed to being a checklist that you tick and check off. For example, with the first principle, ability, ability is more of a function of the time you spend honing your craft rather than a result of what you were born with. Think about the skills that are important in your work and life. Next, identify ways you can hone them. Then commit to these steps with a deadline and act on them. Another example, with the second principle on abundance. Think about whether you tend to act with a scarcity or an abundance mindset. Do you always fear that you can't succeed or that people are going to rip you off or that you won't get enough of something? This is scarcity, fear-based mindset. How can you switch to an abundance mindset, which is a mindset that helps you focus on opportunities, love, and abundance, such that you can then create more an outcome for yourself? Now I present to you 101 life principles. Number one, ability. Ability is more of a function of the time you spend honing your craft rather than the result of what you were born with. Number two, abundance. We live in a world of abundance. There are unlimited wealth and unlimited opportunities for everyone. So don't worry about whether you can succeed in something and focus on how to succeed in it. Number three, action. Action is a necessary part of success. Number four, and not or. It's not about choosing option A or option B. It's about option C, an option you create which has everything you want and more. Number five, anger. Anger is the most volatile form of emotion you can ever burden yourself with. Every bit of anger you hold on to damages your soul. Whenever you feel angry, remember that the person you are hurting is yourself. Number six, annoyances. Everything that annoys you mirrors something inside you. Rather than look outward for the solution, look inside to understand where that annoyance is coming from. Number seven, attachment. Attachment only causes anguish in the long run because nothing is permanent in this world. Don't mourn over the loss of something. Be happy that it happened instead. Number eight, awareness. Awareness is the first step to the resolution of any problem. Number nine, beauty. Physical beauty is great because it doesn't last. Inner beauty, on the other hand, stands the test of time. This doesn't mean we shouldn't improve our physical beauty. We should focus on being beautiful both on the inside and out. Number 10 is beauty number two. There is no standard of beauty. Beauty comes in all shapes, all sizes, all forms, all colors. You are beautiful as you are. Stop trying to conform to the image of beauty constructed by the society and embrace the beauty that is you. Number 11. Be in yourself. It is better to be a first-rate version of yourself than a second-rate version of someone else. Number 12. Beliefs. Your beliefs affect your life more than you think they do. If you want to have the best life experience you can ever have, switch out your disempowering beliefs with empowering ones. Number 13 is beliefs number two. Half the things you say are usually more to do with your internal beliefs and issues than to do with other people. Number 14, blame. Whenever you point a finger at someone else, there are three fingers pointed back at you. Number 15, business. In business, being the cog in the system also means you are the clog in the system. Learn to have your business run without you. 
be it via automating or outsourcing. Even if you still want to work on your business after that, that's fine. It's important that you work on the business and not in the business. Number 16, change. Just because you have realized something doesn't mean the world around you will change right away. It takes time for your thoughts to ripple out and affect the reality because the physical world is denser than the spiritual one. So don't be hung up on what's on the outside, but stay true to what's inside you. Be focused. Number 17. Change that lasts. It's better to create sustainable change than change that is quick but does not last. Stop going for the easy way out. Learn how to create lasting change instead. Number 18. Changing people. You can't change other people. You can only change yourself. Number 19. Comparing. There is no need to compare because everyone is different. Your goal is not to be like others, but to be yourself. Stop comparing with others and focus on being yourself instead. Number 20. Competition. The only competition you have is yourself. Number 21. Conditional things. Something that is conditional can never stand the test of time. For example, if your partner wants to be with you only if you do X, Y, and Z, whereby X, Y, and Z are not things that you believe in. Or say, if a parent will only love his child if he aces his exams, these are relationships rooted in fear and not what you want to be a part of. Number 22. Confidence. Confidence is a quality that comes from knowing oneself. It can't be manufactured regardless of how many material objects you own or what statuses you have. Number 23. Criticism. Criticism helps you to become better. Rather than rejecting it, celebrate it. Number 24. Criticism. Number 2. Receiving criticism means what you are doing is worthwhile enough for people to critique on. One will not criticize unless he or she feels he or she has a stake in it. The more criticism you get, the better, because that means you are doing something of real value and worth. Number 25. Cynics, skeptics, and pessimists. They are not worth arguing with. They are negative time bombs waiting to go off. You will only end up more bitter, damaged, and upset at the time of the exchange. Number 26. Death. Death is part and parcel of life. With every death comes a new birth. With every birth comes an eventual death. Don't mourn the death. Celebrate the fact that they lived. Number 27. Death. Number 2. There is nothing to fear about death, for it happens to everyone. Rather than fear death, focus on living your best life instead. Number 28. Do everything alone. You can't accomplish everything by yourself. Even if you do, you can never accomplish as much as compared to if you had the help of others. Involve others in your goals. Delegate, outsource, and hire where applicable. Ask for help when you need it. Number 29. Escaping. Escaping has never solved any problem for anyone. The moment you decide to face your problems is the moment you gain power over your life. Number 30. Failure. Failure is a necessary part of success. Every great success is almost always preceded by a great failure. It's more important that you learn from your failures and harness the lessons so you can achieve your next success. Number 31. Fear. Fear is a disempowering emotion to live with. Your real self is not filled with fear. Discard it and you will be set free. Number 32. Fear number 2. No matter how much fear you have, your fear can be conquered with love. By love, I am referring to universal love, not specifically romantic love. Number 33. Focus. Focus is what happens when you stop letting yourself get distracted by the unimportant things. Number 34. Force. You can't force things to happen if they aren't meant to be. There is a time and place for everything. You can only do what you can and let the universe take care of the rest. Number 35. Forgiveness. Forgiveness isn't about forgiving other people. It's about forgiving yourself. Number 36. Friendship. 
A friendship is a bond between two like-minded souls. If there are friends you no longer feel an, an affinity for, perhaps it's time to let the friendship go and work on building new friendships. Number 37. Frustration. Frustration makes you feel bad and doesn't help you solve your problems. Release the frustration in you and work on the issues instead. Number 38. Fulfillment. You create a more fulfilling life by giving attention to the good things, not the bad things. By celebrating the good stuff, not whining about the bad stuff. By working on things that you love, not doing the things that you hate. Number 39. Future. You can't control the future, but you can affect the present moment if you want to have a better future. Create it. Number 40. Generosity. Being generous doesn't deprive you. When you are generous to others, you subsequently receive more into your life. Number 41. Giving and receiving. Rather than think about what you can receive, whether from people or from the universe, think about what you can give to others. Number 42. Growth. Always challenge yourself to reach greater heights. There is always room to be better. Regardless of who you are and what you have done, be attached to the notion of growth, not an end state. Number 43. Habits. Your habits make you who you are. Excellent habits give you an excellent life. Number 44. Happiness. Happiness is the result of doing what brings you joy. It is not a goal to be achieved. Rather than focus on being happy for the sake of being happy, do what makes you happy instead. Number 45. Haste. Sometimes more haste leads to less speed. Being in a hurry can lead to more mistakes compared to if you were not. Number 46. Humility. Humility will earn you more respect, acknowledgement, and recognition than arrogance ever will. There's no need to be a show-off. If you are really good at what you do, it will automatically show through your accomplishments. Number 47. Ideals. Ideals are good, but don't let them stop you from living in the present. They are meant to inspire you and give you the direction to move towards so that you can maximize your present moment, not to take away from living in it. Number 48. Improving. If you think you can't improve any further in something, then you are just not aware of your areas for improvement. Number 49. Individuality. Everyone is different. Accept that each and every person is unique. Stop imposing expectations on people. Number 50. Inspiration. Inspiration comes from being in the state of flow. If you're not feeling inspired, you're not in the state of flow. Number 51. Intuition. When in doubt, follow your intuition. It will guide you to where you need to be. Number 52. Intuition and logic. Contrary to popular belief, intuition and logic are not at odds with each other. They go hand in hand. Hone your analytical mind through constant thinking. Cultivate your intuition by listening to your gut. They will be the biggest tools you'll have at your disposal. Number 53. Jealousy. Jealousy is what happens when you resent someone's success, but you don't have to because you are capable of achieving the same level of success and more. Number 54. Judgment. Judging people doesn't make you a better person. It only makes you an ugly one. Number 55. Laughter. Perhaps a little cliche, but laughter is one of the best medicines for the soul. When's the last time you had a good laugh? If you haven't been laughing, smiling, grinning for a while, maybe you have been too stifled in your life. Go do something that makes you loosen up and laugh out loud. Number 56. Let go. Sometimes you have to let go of what you have now in order to move forward. Number 57. Let go. Number 2. If there is something you can't let go of, dig deeper. There is probably something in you waiting to be uncovered. Number 58. Life. Life is an experience that you actually create, not something you wait around to happen. Number 59. Limits. The only limit in life is yourself. No one's stopping you from becoming better and achieving more except yourself. To reach greater heights, identify your limits and remove them accordingly. Number 60. Love. Love isn't something you deliberately seek out. It's something that happens when you follow your life path and meet the right person along your life's journey. Number 61. Low consciousness people. If you do not want to be affected by people of low consciousness, 
Simply raise your consciousness to a level where you are safe from them. Number 62. Low consciousness people number two. Low consciousness people hold you back from reaching greater heights. These include energy vampires, critical people, dishonest characters, and people with temperament issues. Let them go from your life and send them love as you do that. Number 63. Material objects. Material objects are just tools to help you enjoy your life. You do not carry them with you when you die, so don't invest yourself in them. Rather, invest yourself in the development of your consciousness. Number 64. Meaning of life. Meaning of life is up to you to create. You can either treat life like it has no meaning or see it as this amazing opportunity that the universe has blessed you with. Number 65. Mistakes. Mistakes are there to help you learn more about yourself. Don't be hung up about the mistakes you make. Don't be afraid of making more mistakes either. Be hungry about the lessons they embody. Number 66. Money. Money is a symbol of value exchange between people. The amount of money you earn is simply a representation of the value you are giving to others. To earn more money, simply create more value for others. Number 67. Motivation. Motivation comes naturally when you do what you love. Number 68. Nasty people. There is always something good in everyone, even in the nastiest of people. It's up to you to recognize that. Number 69. Nasty people number two. The nastiest of people are also the unhappiest of people. Be kind to them because they are the ones who need your love the most. Number 70. Obstacles. The obstacles that lie between you and your goals are not there to stop you from reaching your goals. They are there to stop the people who don't want them enough. Number 71. Opportunities. Opportunities don't come knocking on your door just by virtue of you doing nothing. You can either passively wait for opportunities to fall onto your lap or actively create them yourself. Number 72. Passion. If you're not following your passion, you have nothing to lose. Seriously, if you have to work for at least two-thirds of your life, you might as well base it off your passion. Stop letting yourself be hung up by fear and start pursuing your dreams. Number 73. Past. You can't change the past. It has happened and it is what it is. Fixation on it isn't going to get you anywhere. You can only change the present to create a better future. Number 74. People you dislike. Your life is limited, so spend it around people you like. Number 75. Pleasing other people. When you live a life trying to please others, you end up not living a life at all. You are just living others' lives under the facade of your life. Number 76. Positivity. If you want to have more positivity in your life, start by being more positive yourself. Spot the silver lining behind every dark cloud. Recognizing the strengths of the people you are with. See the good side of everything you have. Number 77. Possibilities. We live in a world of possibilities. Everything you have ever dreamed of, imagined, or wished for is possible, as long as you set your heart and soul to it. Number 78. Power. You have the power in you to do everything you ever want and more. So start doing what you want and let the power in you emerge. Number 79. Procrastination. Procrastination is a sign of a bigger issue. Stop trying to fix your procrastination as a problem and start thinking about why you are procrastinating in the first place. Number 80. Progress. Celebrate how far you've come and not how much you have yet to achieve. The former will empower you to greatness, while the latter is rooted in fear and only serves to hold you back from greatness. Number 81. Priorities. Know what matters to you and work on them. These are the things that will bring you the greatest happiness in life. Number 82. Lead by example. If you want to initiate change, lead by example. Words can only do so much. A living example shows everything. Number 83. Reality. Just like how the kind of fruit a tree bears is a result of the seed it is sown from. Your external reality is merely a reflection of your internal beliefs. Change your beliefs and your reality will follow suit. 
Number 84, regret. Regret is what happens when you are stuck with the impression that you did or didn't do. Something you wish you didn't or did, but you can't change the past. No one can. Milk that is spilled cannot be unspilled. Stop living in the past and start living in the present. Number 85, relationships. A relationship is a bond between two dynamic individuals. It should be actively created between the parties involved and not something you base off norms and other relationships. Don't impose expectations on your relationship. Nurture them and let them come into their own. Number 86, resistance. The more you resist something, the more it will persist. Number 87, respect. Everyone, no matter who, deserves respect. If you want others to respect you, it's important you respect them first. Number 88, responsibility. Nobody is responsible for your life, you are. If you don't take responsibility for your life, no one will. The day you stop pushing blame onto others is the day your life is going to turn around. Number 89, results. The results you get in life are a function of the actions you take. The more actions you take, the more results you will see. Number 90, root cause. Behind every occurrence is a root cause. Dig for the root cause and address that. Number 91. Seeking love. If you're desperately seeking love, perhaps there's something inside you that's blocking you from seeing it. Because love is everywhere, around you, and in you. There's no need to seek love so much as you just need to be aware of its presence. You are a product of love. You are the biggest source of love. You live in the world of love. Number 92. Settling. Settling is for losers. Don't ever ever settle for something less than your ideal. Your ideal is yours to have. Fight for it. Number 93. Spite. When you try to spite other people, you are really just hurting yourself. The people you are trying to spite may not care. In fact, they may not even know how hung up you are over them. All you are doing is just acting out a self-created story and script in your mind. Number 94. Success. Success is the result of being great at what you do. Being great at what you do is the result of hard work. Hard work is the result of determination, persistence, and relentless focus. Number 95. Success number 2. There is no such thing as an overnight success. Every success you see, even if it's seemingly quick, is a result of long periods of hard work that took place long before the point of success. Number 96. Time. Time is a construct created by man so we can have structure in our lives. You become a slave to time when you always think in terms of the time you have and what you should do rather than of results and outputs. Rather than trying to manage time, work on self-management and activity management. Number 97. Truth. It is always better to tell the truth because you stay clean that way. When you tell a lie, you live a lie forever. Not only that, you almost always have to cover it up with new lies. It is a cycle that never ends. Number 98. Unhappiness. 100% of the unhappiness you experience in your life is a product of your thoughts. If you want to be happy, then make a conscious choice to be happy. Number 99. Vengeance. Vengeance is an act of force, fear, that doesn't solve the problem. Look at the history of mankind and the wars that were waged. Go with the path of love, not fear, vengeance, force. Number 100. What's meant to be. If something is meant to be, it will happen, provided you do your part to make it happen. The more tightly you try to grab onto something, the more it will slip away. It's just like trying to grab sand. It slips through the crack of your fingers regardless how tightly you grab it. And number 101, yourself. Don't do things for others, do them for yourself. I hope you found this podcast informative. If you have any comments about this or the other episodes, please comment below. I'll be looking forward to reading them. Until next time, goodbye everybody. The Rocky Nell Show.